the best company in the world. Really f Higby. That this time, didn't they? What's worse than having a bunch of squatties that won't stay out of the spawn room? Having a bunch of please remain calm so that won't stay in the generator rooms. I've seen so many hand-fisted attempts at winning bio labs, tech plants, and amp stations all fail miserably because novice leaders couldn't see the importance of dominating the generators. Not just setting them to blow or stabilizing them either, but actually being in control of the generator and the room that holds it at all times. So why go for gens instead of control points? Well, have you considered that most generators are placed in far locations that force the defending faction to trickle in to defend them, unless they take time to get organized? Keep some of your soldiers at consistency and it'll siphon away enemy forces from the control points and allow your remaining forces, or friendly forces in the area, an easier fight at those control points, not to mention that they'll have access to them whenever they please. Have you also considered the benefits of controlling the gen rooms, like being able to get them back up the instant the base is yours, or having significant control of the map by holding those areas. Seriously, they're placed in some useful spots. Okay, it's time to tell you the most important part of this process. For the love of battle frame robots, stay in the gen room after you have compromised it. There is no point in destroying the gens if you're immediately going to leave them unprotected, and there's no point of even setting them to blow if you won't even bother to see it through and make sure nobody stops it. In order to assure dominance over the generators, assign at least one of your squads to each major generator for the duration of the fight. I know that sounds like a lot of people, but you'll need it for when those defenders get desperate and try to rush the gens in a last ditch effort to regain control of their base. And you'll still have two squads left over, assuming you're running with a full platoon. And if not, there's always radioing in for other friendly forces in the region to help you out and other such things that blah, 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 blah. So how exactly do you keep your soldiers hanging around the gen room in order to secure your hold on the facility? Let's think of some ideas, Captain. How about an open bar? Nah, I don't think that'll work. Maybe we can put some sexy pinups up to placate your soldiers. Maybe, maybe. We might not get past uh, the ratings board. Yeah, whatever, you're a smart commander. You'll think of something and I know it'll be good. Now, I know it's hard to convince your soldiers to stay put and defend this weird cylinder thing that magically puts up shields, but it's really important to the fight. Not everyone can go and killstreak their way to the cap point and then just leave to collect more scalps of battle rank 12s. You'll find that you'll have a lot less trouble with your outfit buddies than with pubs, for obvious reasons, but even then, sometimes outfit buddies will get tired of sitting around waiting for that neutral female voice to tell you the status of the generator. So what about defending generators? Well, mostly the same goes. Keep one squad at each major generator and the control points will take care of themselves. Yeah, the enemy will try to take a point from time to time, but it's no good to them if they can't get into the main room of the tech plant or take out your SCU in a bio lab. If you guard the gens with your obedient squaddies, then the strays will take care of the points without you having to say a single word. Ah, Higby, review. That's it for today, Commanders of Araxis. If you found this video enjoyable or informative, feel free to hit that lovely green thumbs up button somewhere on the screen. And make sure you subscribe so you can get lessons and tactics every week and whatever else I can bother to put up in the meantime to keep you guys entertained. See you next time, Commanders. Remember, play tactically.